All right, guys. Thanks for joining me on another uh, project on this uh, 68 Volks rod. We're gonna be doing the valve adjustments on my new 1.25 uh, uh, rockers. Um, so my last video showed you how to put the rockers on. Now we'll do the adjustment and then put the uh, new uh, bolt-on valve covers as well. So currently, um, this engine is sitting on cylinder number four, bottom dead center. If you see it in there, okay, there's bottom dead center. This pulley is really nice because you have the degrees on it. You have top dead center and bottom dead center marked. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn it to where it's top dead center. But this uh, is going to be pointing at a 45 degree angle towards the right side of the engine. Okay, it's going to be pointing towards the front of the engine. Okay, so let's go ahead and get... Uh, the distributor turn and uh, turn my pulley to the uh, top dead center TDC okay um, there's two dot top dead centers so you got to be aware of uh, which one you're going to okay so let's go ahead and get the camera set down and show you what I need to do so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this doesn't matter clockwise, counterclockwise, doesn't matter. At this point, it's counterclockwise is going to be the quickest to get me to cylinder number one. And you'll feel the compression, and then it, as soon as it gets close to top dead center, the compression will re release. Okay. All right, we are lined up top dead center, and I'll show you how that's uh, aligned. So if you look in there, let's see if I can get enough light in there. Top dead center, number one, okay. And you're gonna line that top dead center mark up to the case, okay. I don't know if you can see it. Let me get the light in here. So you're gonna do, get go to the case break, okay. Let's see, if it's a little difficult. There's a, usually, yep. There you can see it. There's a tab that comes off of the left side of the case, and you're going to line up to the right side of that tab. And the case brake is right to the right side of that tab. Okay, that would be your your mark for uh, top dead center and bottom dead center. Okay. <clears throat> this is cylinder number one. You're going to notice that they're loose. Cylinder number two, one is tight, one is loose. Okay. You have the uh, exhaust port and intake port. Exhaust port and intake port, all the way around, it's the same thing, okay? This setup's really nice because it does not have a flathead, it's got an Allen key, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and crank that in, okay? And I will get a 13 millimeter to uh, tighten down that uh, nut. Thirteen on this guy. Yes, it is. Okay. So, I am gonna um, set these at. If you can read this or not, maybe so, maybe not. Point zero zero five. Okay. So generally, you're gonna gap your uh, your valves at point zero zero six. See if I can get you guys there. There we go. Okay, point zero zero six, um, and that's when you're running aluminum push rods. Okay, the reason for that is because the aluminum push rods and aluminum case expand and contract uh, at the same time. I have upgraded to uh, chromoly push rods, and with that being said. Chromoly push rods, they don't expand the same way aluminum does or at the same rate aluminum does. So what will happen is they will become loose and the, the aluminum will stretch and it'll allow you to get um, more gap here and you'll hear the, the valve ticking. Actually, I'll show you this. Feel it snug there. Tighten that down. And then go 
would do that too. Number two as well, or excuse me, the exhaust side as well. Okay, so I can't really pull it out. Now this is not how you would set normal valves. Okay, normal valves with aluminum push rods. You're gonna go ahead and set this. I'll, I'll just show you on this one. You'll set it so, so you can put this uh, number five and slide it in. It's gonna be a little, little tight, but that's the measurement you want. But if I left these now, you'll hear them later because it's just gonna stretch. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the number five back in. Tighten this down. Pull it out. That one's a little tighter or looser than I was, would like. So we'll go ahead and So that's what you're gonna do for each one of them. So now this is top dead center. In order to get these adjusted, you're gonna need to spin your pulley counterclockwise, okay? The reason why counterclockwise is to get this, see how it's moving towards uh, number four? Counterclockwise will actually move it towards number two, okay? Again, you're gonna line that up to the case. Okay, line it up to the case down in there. And we're now pointing at the number two, okay? And the reason why I know that is because before, one was tight and one was loose. Now we have both loose. Okay, and if you're unsure, Put your cap back on, follow your spark plug wire to the side you're working on, and that'll tell you where to point to, okay? So let's go ahead and get this guy tightened down. So, we've just completed number one and number two. You're going to do the same thing for the other side. Alright guys, so I'm on the left side of the engine, the driver's side of the engine. I'm going to go ahead and turn your distributor so it's pointing at the cylinder you want. Okay. Um, like I said, easiest thing to do if you're lost, put your, your uh, cap back on. So if you're lost, just put your cap back on the direction it's going to go. Follow your wires, okay? In this case, this, this wire is going to come across and go to this front cylinder, okay? Number four, okay? And the back's going to be number three, okay? So we're going to go ahead and uh, turn it to number three, counterclockwise, so, so that the, the uh, rotor will actually spin back to number three, okay?
gonna go ahead and install my new uh, MP uh, valve covers. Okay, these things are really nice. Uh, they come with a rubber gasket, so you don't have that oil seal, or excuse me, cork seal. Um, all you do is you just line it up all the way around. Okay. Alright, and you can reuse this rubber one. Uh, I'm not sure how often you can reuse it, uh, but you don't replace it every single time that you do uh, your valves. Um, so that's the reason why I put these nuts on. Um, generally you will have just a uh, nut similar to this and you just tighten it down just a regular old nut. So these valve covers come with a rubber seal that you put plug into these holes here. Okay. And they come with um, some bolts that you put through and you tighten it on to uh, that uh, standoff there. Okay. Um, I didn't really like a uh, hex head bolt, so I'm, I'm going to try to use this flanged um, button head. If I have the length, that'd be great. I don't know if I will, uh, so I'll have to use just a regular button head. So let me get the Allen keys for both of these, and we'll get going on that. All right, that's it. I'll go ahead and get the other side on and uh, we'll be done. Thanks guys for watching.